Hello, Heather from Georgia Lou Studios here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to create a simple logo using the free online app called Canva. If you haven't heard of Canva, it's a really awesome online graphic design tool you can use to create logos and banners, post images, social media images, resumes, workbooks, pretty much anything you can think of. So hop on over and check it out. It's Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. I also want to point out down here, Canva also has a free photo editor. So if you don't have Photoshop or Lightroom, this is a great place to crop or add filters, add text to your blog post photos. And totally free again. So for Canva, you can sign up with Facebook, Google, or your email. Since I already have an account, I'm just going to log in. I use Canva a lot to create simple graphics, things like blog post images, uh, social media headers, you can see this is the dashboard where you go after you sign in. Here's my little profile image. These are a variety of templates that they provide. Some of them are free, some of them are premium. But there's a lot of really great free ones. And we're going to get into this more later um, on our second logo we're going to work on. The first logo we're going to work on is to recreate the Marianne logo from our WordPress theme. So we're going to click Custom Dimensions. I'm going to use 1200 pixels wide by 300 pixels tall because I know that's a good size and then I click the design button and this new window opening up is my canvas my design canvas where I can add my text my graphics so this is my toolbar over here I have search I can search for images they have a library of images some free some paid um, that are really great these are different layouts that you can use to kind of get you started if you want to add images or have columns and there's all kinds of elements here's the photos you can add a grid frames around your pictures they have some illustrations and shapes icons which could be really handy for creating a logo today we're just going to create a simple text logo so I'm going to the text window now these are how you add your different kinds of text there's a heading a subheading and a body and you just click on it and it'll drop it right in and we'll do that in just a second they also have some nice layouts down here that actually might work as great logos for your site if you customize them to match your site today we know exactly what we're going to design though so i'm going to drop in this heading and now this toolbar up here is for editing your text this is the font family this is the font size color bold or italics centering your font this will make it all caps if you want to add bullets and text spacing so the spacing in between the letters right now my text is in Avril font face or fat face which I don't want the logo for Marianne is in a Google font called Playfair display and Canva has all kinds of really awesome all the Google fonts basically if you get the premium version you can upload your own fonts but I think Google fonts are great because then you could easily match them to your website design I'm going to change the font size I'm gonna make it about a 96 make it um, take up pretty much the whole space then I'm going to drop in my own text and I'm just gonna hover over it and click and hold you see those purple dash crosshairs that tells me that my text is right in the middle vertically and horizontally of the canvas we're going to want to change that a little later because I'm going to add a subheading. So I'm just going to click on add subheading and it's going to drop it in. Sometimes when your elements overlap, you have to move one to grab the other one. So I'm going to add in my subheading. This is not the font I want. So I'm going to switch it out, just highlight it and select my Montserrat font, which is one of my all-time favorite fonts. It's just a beautiful font. And I'm going to type in my tagline. Now this is just too big for me. It's too big, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I also want to space out these letters a little bit. They're a little crowded, so I'm going to click on text spacing so I can change letter spacing, which is the space between the letters. And then line height is the height between the lines. So if you're using a couple lines, you may want to increase or decrease that line height to make it look a little better. So I'm going to space it out just a little bit, give it a better look. Make sure this guy is right in the middle. Okay. 
there I have a really simple, took me like a minute, two minutes to recreate that logo. Really professional, gorgeous looking logo. Free, so all you need to do is download it. I would recommend using PNG. Unfortunately, Canva doesn't allow you to do a transparent background, which is really unfortunate, um, unless you have the premium. But uh, as long as you match your background of your logo to your website background, it's not really a problem. So say your website background's gray. Click on the background tab, click gray. Simple, simple. But you can download it. You also have the option of doing a PDF for standard or print quality. PNG is really good for logos, so we're just going to download that. Let's click the download button. And it thinks for a minute. You can also share it by tweeting about it. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you might. So there we've recreated one logo. So I'm going to close out of this. If you're worried about saving your latest changes, you can click that save again. It saves automatically, periodically, so not a big deal. So now we're going to create a design from one of the pre-existing free templates. So these are just some examples. Click on that more icon and you're going to see how many more templates they have. So there's social media graphics, cards, Instagram posts, album covers, book covers. So these are the two we're kind of interested in. This is a logo. That would actually work really great for like an alternate logo, the square little logos you might want to create. Here's a blog title. That's a little small for me. It's a little narrow. So I'm actually going to go with the Etsy cover photo. And it's um, 1200 by 300, which is the size I just used for my other one. And it's going to open up a new canvas. And this time under layouts, it's going to, for this specific, the Etsy cover photo, it's going to have a whole bunch of pre-made designs that you can customize and work with. And there's some really great designs. You can see here, they're pretty much all free. So if you run an Etsy shop, this is a great place to grab a design for your shop. So we're just going to pick one and it, you click on it and it just drops it right in there for you. Let's say I, I'm not loving that background. That's an image background. Let's say I want to switch it out for a picture of a puppy. So I'm going to go search and I'm going to search for a puppy. Uh, most of these cute guys cost a dollar. So. Let's say there's some free mountains. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this image in and it has some kind of overlay over it because you can see that this doesn't look like that, but I kind of like that overlay. That's kind of cool looking. So I'm going to now edit my text. And I, I really like those fonts. They're pretty nice. Oh, I edited my main heading, and I want to edit this guy down here. And let's make that all uppercase. Now I need to adjust it just a little bit to maybe get it aligned. Yeah, I don't think I like it on the end there. Let's try it like right there. But you see how you can play around with these pre-made designs and this would look really great as a email header or a blog header. You could remove the black ground, just turn the text black and have a really basic header. Again, there's these really cool pre-made designs. So you can just download it, upload it to your site and you are good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use Canva to create a logo. I think you should get in there and just try some stuff out and see what you can create.